Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Thomas Creations and more. This is the first video for the Build Your Stash collaboration here on YouTube, where for the next five Mondays, we will be sharing on things, <coughs> excuse me, that you can make for, to build up your stash or to uh, send off for happy mail, and stuff like that. So this is my first video. I will be sharing with you how to make these policy envelopes in different sizes using up any paper that you have in your stash that one, you don't know how you're gonna use in your creations. Perhaps it's a wrong pattern, color, or you know you just have an abundance of paper and you don't know what to do with them anymore. This is an idea to make these envelopes so that you can um, stuff things in here to send to Happy Mail die cuts, um, embellishments, bling stickers whatever it is that you want to stick in there or you can actually send make a whole bunch of these send them together and um send a mass happy mail i'll be sharing with you a couple of ways i um package them up for happy mail or just you know to give away as a little presents to my crafty friends um to make these you're going to need a scoreboard a bowl folder a glue stick if you don't have a scoreboard you will need a ruler pencil and then of course some scissors it's um, things that us crafters usually have at home <clears throat> you can use any excuse me guys I'm still battling with my <coughs> with my allergies anyway <clears throat> you can use any size of paper um, the only thing you have to do is pay attention to how wide your paper or how wide your envelope is will be at the end um, you kind of just fold it like this this is not how you do it but it's just kind of how to see if it'll work or not um, you do this so that you kind of know how wide your envelope is going to be because if you happen to grab the paper this way and fold it this way then the envelope will be very narrow and unless you need a very narrow envelope this will be useless to you that's why you kind of um, kind of fold it in thirds not fold it completely but just kind of see oh yeah that will work for me so once you do this and you want it this size you're going to put it on your envelope and you're going to score it at one inch that's the magic number you're going to do it at one inch turn it and you're going to do three sides two and three so you're going to end up with three sides that are that is scored one, two, and three. If you do not have a scoreboard, um, this is what you're going to do. I know that this is around an inch. I think it's less than an inch. All I do is put it on the side of the paper. And I apologize, you really can't see that on white on white. Let me see, there you go. Put it at the edge of the paper. You're gonna take your pencil, make a line, edge of the paper, make a line edge of the paper make a line and you're still going to end up with three sides that are have a line and all you're going to do is go back and fold it and so it would be scored at around an inch then you're going to take your glue stick You're going to need your glue stick and you're going to fold it. Let me see if you can tell. See where the line is scored right here? I'm going to mark it so that you can see. You wouldn't have to mark it, but I want you to see. So that's my score line right there. The one on the side. This one has none. That is going to be a reference point for you. You're going to take this edge of the paper and you're going to bring it up to that score line and cover it up see that that's where my score line is I'm gonna put it down now so that you can see make sure to line your edge of the paper to that score line fold fold this is what you end up with this is a score line the one on the side you're gonna fold it there fold fold so this is what you're gonna have you're gonna open it up You're going to open it up 
and you're going to take this on the right side and on the left side of the score line. So in essence, you're going to cut this off. I'm doing this because I think it's kind of hard for you to see. There you go. So you're going to take off the score, this little square right here. And you're going to do it on the opposite end of the score line. So basically you're taking out the score line. Do that to all fours. Throw these away because we're going to use that to make embellishments later on in the series. So these will be the width and these will be the one you tell and this is the opening. But you want to miter the corners or make an angle. So basically you see this edge right here? You're going to angle your scissors to meet that up. So angle your scissors and you're going to do that. Angle your scissors, meet the corner. Turn it around, do the same thing. So you're gonna end up with something like this. <clears throat> the reason I did that one inch is because I figured out that that is the size and I don't like to use my scoreboard to glue on top because then it's gonna get sticky. Well, the one that was scored at one inch, it's a perfect size for your glue stick. Check it out. Oh, I'm sorry about the camera. One, two, and it's perfect for your glue. And you turn it around, you glue it. Oops. Edge to edge, score line to score line. You close it. <clears throat> and pay attention to the top and the bottom, which one is prettier. I think this one's more level, so this will be the top. This is the place where I'm going to put my things in. So again, perfect size one two for your glue stick it doesn't go to the edge and there you have your pot of the envelope you leave this one open you stuff it with whatever you want you can close it put washi tape or what I like to do is I like to put glue stick and actually close it so they have to open it like a present and this is one of them now let me show you with a different size of papers so that you can see and it's gonna be so that it can you can see it's going to be the same no matter what paper you use size paper the only thing you have to be um, mindful of is if you happen to have a pattern that has a different like let's say it had a flower right and it has to go a certain way well you have to pay attention to that so this one I want it to be like this so I want this and this one, this top and this bottom. So this will be the one in the middle. So I score it at one, all the way down. This is a 12 by 12 paper. I'm gonna turn it around, one. And because I want this paper like this, I want this to be my bottom and this to be my top. So that's where I'm going to put my score line one two three one inch on each side if you don't have a scoreboard remember I told you you take your ruler <clears throat> and you take your pencil and then you uh, fold it down just like the other one so it's three let me remove this because I don't like to glue on top of there so this is a one side I'm marking it for you because I can see that you can't see that. There. One, two, three. You're going to take the one side, you're going to put it in the middle, and then you're going to fold it in the middle. I'm sorry guys, I need to do this because I know you can't see it. Roughly, that's where the first score line is there. You're going to take the other edge of the paper and you're going to put this one here. 
meet the corners. I'm going to put it down. Meet the corner on the other side with a score line. Fold it. Oh my goodness. Fold it. Yeah. I'm going to erase this because that's so you won't see it in my envelope. But that was to show you where the score mark was. And then you're going to take the corners again and you're going to take out the corners. I'm shading them in so that you can see where my corners are up. It's the squares on the side. So you're going to cut them out. Take out the score line, means you're going to jump the score line and cut. After you do these after a while, um, you'll get the hang of it. In the beginning, trust me, you're going to cut the squares wrong, you're going to glue it wrong, um, but that's part of the learning curve. Oh, higher your corners, angled it, scissors to the corner. Cut, scissors to the corner and cut, scissors to the corner and cut. On the side that was um, scored, you'll be able to see it, you know, when you have it in front of your eyes. I can barely see it. It's right there. Run your glue stick down and then up on the other side. That's why I like the one inch because the glue sticks um, works great. Um, to me, the glue stick works better than any other glue. I've tried the wet glues. Um, the one that I do like to use is Timbo. Um, but that's pricey, you know, for an envelope. I'd rather save it when I'm doing my journals. Um, Elmer's will crinkle. The tape, the ATG gun, for me didn't hold up when I stuffed them, so um, that's why I use the glue stick. It's cheap, easy, effective, and the one inch is perfect for it. So here it is. So those are the different sizes. Let me share you. Let me share with you the way I package them up. If I'm going to give out the the envelopes for Happy Mail, I will put a stack together. And these are just using different papers that I have, and I simply treat it as a package. And I put some ribbon on it and I give it as happy mail. When I have a big one, like this one, this one was made by a 12 by 12, <clears throat> I decorate it up with some journaling cards. Who doesn't have or cutouts, uh, things from magazines, whatever you put it here. I use some crepe paper and then a piece of ribbon. I decorated it inside of here all I did was take different size envelopes that I had and I stuffed them in there and I close it up you can also use it um, to to package up whatever happy mail you want to send and so you just decorate the front and then look a perfect little package for your um, happy mail. so this will be the first video I'm going to share I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, just let me know. Again, you can. This is an eight by eleven one. What you can do is um, you're going to score, score at one inch on three sides. Cut corners. Uh, angle cut top and bottom and then you're going to glue those are the steps to make these if you have any questions leave them down in the description box below and I will be happy to answer them thanks for stopping by my channel and like I said uh, click the little um, bell so that you can be notified when I upload my next video which will be every Monday in August I hope that you um, 
join us in this collaboration, look in the description box. I will be putting the rest of the participants' links below. Thank you. Have a